Hello everyone, this is Cindy at Lulu's Treasure Trove. I'm real happy to uh, be here. Um, it is in the afternoon my time on uh, Thursday, April the 13th, and I uh, hope everyone's having a great day so far. I wanted to do a follow-up video on some of the things that I've been working on. That would be what everyone calls whips, works in progress. And one thing I've been working on is this baby skirt that you see right here. And I guess the last time I did a, a video, I had only gotten to this point where that pink is right there. And now I've, I've gotten this done this part here and I decided to you what I decided to use was the uh, puzzle baby yarn that I got from ice it's a hundred percent acrylic and it it's real soft and uh, I thought it uh, did really like uh, matched this other yarn that I had started out with See, it has uh, the same similar colors with the uh, pastel lavender, the yellows, the pinks, the whites. So uh, since they matched in color, I, I thought it would uh, make a nice addition or for the skirt because the, the pattern um, actually calls for a A size three and uh, this is a size two but since it's uh, summertime I thought the the two weight would be a, a nice yarn to use uh, for you know a summertime a springtime and a summertime uh, baby skirt and so here's how that's looking so far And I'm using uh, I'm using the uh, five point five millimeter size hook. <clears throat> and uh, if you'll remember the uh, the waistband that I made is uh, was crocheted with this yarn here, and I'm sure I'm. I probably don't know how to pronounce that, but um, I guess it may be called uh, Shack and Myers, but don't hold me to that. It's the Baby Smiles, and it's uh, Legina Soft, and it says, uh, it just has a number for the color. And so I'm really not sure, you know, what you would call that. It looks it looks like a pale, sort of like a pale uh, lavender, maybe. And then uh, this yarn here that I was using, which is so soft and squishy, for this trim that I put on the skirt up at the top that's also an ice yarn and that one is 100% uh, polyamide and I guess they classified it as an eyelash yarn <laughs> to me it doesn't look like an eyelash yarn it looks more like a specialty yarn See, it's, it's, uh, or like a blanket, you know, like a fluffy cotton blanket yarn. So, anyway, <clears throat> I thought that that was looking very beautiful so far. Uh, hope you like it too. Another project that I started, and when I was, when I was going through showing you my yarn room, a few videos back 
Remember, I, I showed you this, uh, this project here that I was working on. This is the sleeve, and this is the body to it, and this is the other sleeve. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. <laughs> um, so this is the cardigan, and this is going to be the front of it, you know, where it opens up. This is the body of the cardigan. And I had the I got the panels sewed on there. But I, I don't have <laughs> I don't have the ends. See, I don't have the ends weaved in yet. But this is uh it's uh, in little squares, see, and then I, ha I uh, stitch the squares together to make it look like a patchwork. And so I'm having a lot of fun, make, you know, with that. And uh, so that is, that is what that looks like so far. And that's going to be the sleeve that'll go up there. And I don't have the, you know, the yoke part of the jacket finished yet. But this is the bottom half of the jacket. So that's done. The sleeves, and I have the sleeves done. I just need to work on getting the top part of the jacket done where the uh, shoulders are at. And... I was going to show you over here real quick where I got the pattern. And I was trying to get the glare off of there. So, uh, this is where I uh, found the pattern. And this person's name is Dana B. And the, the uh, video I watched was a chunky crochet patchwork cardigan tutorial. So I've been following along with the tutorial and crocheting that I did make a modification, but it, it, it was, uh, hers is, uh, cardigan is real short and um, I, I wanted mine to be a little bit uh, bigger than hers and so this see this is uh, this is what mine looks like you know with the patchwork see and then if you skip back a little bit there's where she opened it up see how when I opened mine up and then it uh, she uses a uh, a single crochet where I instead of using a single crochet to join the patches together on mine I used um, this darning needle right here it's it's a pretty big uh, pretty big darning needle well I was trying to get that Trying to get it to focus in there. I think you can see it better now. Holding it over here. So this is the darning needle that I use to weave in, in the ends because the yarn is a size five and it's pretty thick. And so, and so back over to here again. Um, see, this is how mine looks right now. I've gotten to this point, you know, where you can, the body of it's finished and you can open, you can open it up right here. See how she's opening that up and then you can open it up right here. And so that's what I showed you all ago. You know, as far as like how far I've gotten. And then I guess this is, you know, what her sleeve looks like. And this, this is what, 
I was see she 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 used the uh, wool ease to make her cardigan, and um, I'll show you the yarn that I'm using. It's not um, not wool ease. I was trying to show you the jacket what the jacket looks, or what it looks like. See, she put, uh, she put trim on hers. And so I, I don't know if I'm gonna add this trim to mine or not. I may just leave, you know, the bottom of it like a, like a regular cardigan. And I, I just thought that this looked very beautiful like I said, that her channel is, if you want to see this cardigan, I'll put uh, her link down below, you know, to her channel. And you can also see her name here, Dana B. And that's her Instagram, I guess, if you want to follow her on Instagram as well. And again, that uh, is called chunky crochet patchwork cardigan tutorial and i've had a, a lot of fun with this see how see how cute it is i just thought it was darling and i was trying to focus in where you could get maybe a better picture of it you know to see the patchwork on hers see how cute that is <laughs> So I love I love the chunky cardigan. I think it look I think it looks really cute. And here's a here's a picture after the after she put the sleeve on what the sleeves will look like. And of course when see here. I guess it's more like a, a chunky cropped cardigan. And so when I when I get mine finished, I'll be sure to make another video drinking my coffee right now <laughs> got my coffee in my cup and this is what's been on my hook <laughs> this here this chunky cardigan patterned by dana b <laughs> and i was gonna gonna show you real quick the um, yarn. Let's see. Um, if I can find some. Give me just a sec. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't grab a bag of that yarn. Real quick. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get this. Okay. This is the yarn that I'm using. Sorry about the crinkle. I know that sounds terrible sometimes when you're on the other side listening. The the crinkle, I mean. <laughs> some people uh, some people put, uh, put a little sign in their thing that says, "Sorry about the crinkles." So here's the yarn that I'm using in this cardigan, and it's called a. Uh, <laughs> that word again that's hard to pronounce. Schakenmeyer. And um, the brand is Lova, L-O-V-A. And um, these colors, I guess, you know, come with numbers as well. This one is looks like orange. The yarn itself is made in Italy. 
and um, it feels real soft. It has 67% uh, acrylic, 30% wool, and 3% polyamide. And so when you, when you smell it, oh Lord, it smells good. <laughs> you can, you can smell the wool and a lot of people, you know, say that too, that they love the smell of wool and how that smells. And this is also a chain spun, which a lot of people love too. They love, you know, chain spun yarn. So the yarn I'm using is chain spun. And when you when you touch it, it you know it feels really nice and soft. It's it's uh definitely a yarn, you know, that you can well wear next to your skin if you're not allergic to wool. And this is not one of those uh this is not one of those scratchy type wools. This is this is a, a really nice feeling yarn, you know, that you, you can wear next to your skin. And it's also chain spun, which makes it real lightweight. And so this, this cardigan is, is not going to be heavy at all. It's going to be a, a really lightweight cardigan. It's going to be fun to wear bright colors. <laughs> I just love it so much and I love this yarn. So if you're interested in this yarn, I believe I listed some uh some in my uh, Etsy shop so you can uh, always click on the logo that you see up in the top right hand corner of your screen on my home page you can click on that Etsy logo and it'll take you to my Etsy shop and uh, I have several different colors of this yarn for sale if you're interested but I, I love it and I love how this cardigan's turning out so I don't want the video to be too long. We're already 17 and a half minutes in, but I wanted, like I said, I just wanted to take time to say hi to everybody today and to thank you for coming and watching what I'm having on my hook today and uh, this week. I've actually had it on my hook for a while, but I was I'm working on getting this skirt finished and getting this cardigan done. So, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a beautiful upcoming uh, weekend. And um, if you love this kind of video, um, you can always uh, subscribe to my channel. That's always greatly appreciated uh, because I'll have a lot more videos, more fun type videos to come, not just yarny videos, but uh, videos, you know, that has to deal with homesteading and uh, nature and also crochet, yarn, and I have some giveaways going on right now, so you may want to check those out as well. And so, um, if you love my, video, love my video today, I hope you uh, will give it a thumbs up, and I hope you guys um, take care and stay safe. Bye now.